The Chainsaw Man trailer just dropped, and if you've seen it, you know it's phenomenal. So, I want to go through the whole trailer and break it down. The first part will be a non-spoiler breakdown, and the second part of the breakdown will be a spoiler breakdown. Okay, so with that being said, let's tear into it. Firstly, we see a shot of an alley with various cuts and some disturbing music slash noise in the background. Then it's the beautiful hair of Denji that hasn't seen water in days, likely. But anyway, next, someone's blood flows onto a few beer cans with a broken beer bottle nearby. We then see Denji's sharp-ass teeth as he breathes in and out on a cold day. And then it pans onto the street, showing Denji in a dark alley. The contrast of the dark alley and the street that's lit up is done perfectly, and you can see that Denji is standing there in shock. We then cut to a curtain moving, swaying left and right, as the beautiful OST starts to set in. I'll talk more about the OST later, but holy shit is this OST amazing. We then see the dirty dishes of the Hayakawa family, and then it cuts. There they are. Power and Aki look so good. Meowie too, actually. The way the OST here is able to portray the beautiful, peaceful side of Chainsaw Man that the characters hardly are able to enjoy is just absolutely perfect. I want to say this is a small shot, but this shot of the toast gave me shivers through my whole body. You've probably seen this shot actually blow up on TikTok and Twitter, because a lot of people have been talking about how well just this one frame of toast is animated. If you've read Chainsaw Man, you know the toast is just such a small thing, but the shivers it gave me was just next level. Next, we have a beach scene of Kobeni, Power, and Denji, and it really shows more of what I was just talking about, the small peaceful side that the characters don't really get to enjoy. And when we get to the spoiler part, I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about this because I don't think these scenes are actually going to be in the anime. Okay, bro, Aki has game. What the hell? Himino and Aki in the bed together look so good, but sadly, it's one of the last times we see this, like, peaceful side. Next, we see the devil of the second Chainsaw Man arc going through a hallway, and it cuts to a graveyard that kind of looks like the final chapter's graveyard, but I actually just think this is the graveyard where Denji's dad is, even though in the manga, it was just one grave. We then have a shot of a piece of flesh of a devil I won't go into detail about, and that's because it's kind of a massive spoiler but you'll see once the anime comes out if you're anime only. If you're a manga reader, you know what I'm talking about. Next is the scene of the house being blown away, which actually looks really good. I kind of even forgot this was this early on. Apparently it's shown at like chapter 12. Originally, I thought this was like chapter 70. And then we see the door. If you don't know, I'm pretty sure this is like a massive thing from Dora Hidoro that Fujimoto just took a big inspiration from. Then it shows Denji from the first chapter, and damn, this is getting me hype. Like, that literally looks like identical. Um, before I show the next clip, I want you guys to brace yourself. Mommy Makima shows up in her glory. <laughs> Uh, I believe this was in the Kyoto scene, but holy shit, this looks good. And throughout this whole time, I want to point your attention to the OST. It's been building up since the moment this started, slowly edging to this peak that's about to happen. And I'm not gonna lie, these next few frames are the most underrated in the whole trailer. Denji pulls his cord, and I actually can't wait to see this anime. I'm actually just gonna bust when I see it. Next is Khan, which burst out on the scene, and he actually looks really good despite his weird color palette. Personally, I always thought they would do a dark orange, but to be fair, white makes him look a little bit more demonic. The next shot is Aki pulling out his sword which is going to be so hyped to see in the anime. I'm starting to realize that most of this trailer takes place in one arc, and that's fine, but I don't actually know if the anime is confirmed for 24 or 12 episodes. I would almost assume 12 because of the arc that they're showing off. I've also heard a lot of people say they're animating all of part one, which might be the case, but if that is the case, then they're not going to be doing it in just one season, unless this season is three cores. Personally, I think there's no way they can adapt all of Chainsaw Man in less than 36 episodes. And from this trailer, I think this might be the first 12 or so episodes. So this season could end up being only 12 episodes, but I'd expect 24 because Chainsaw Man is ex extraordinarily popular. So who knows how long it'll be, but apparently they are going to be animating all of part one eventually, which is kind of obvious because Chainsaw Man is absolutely blowing up. And if MAPPA doesn't animate all of part one, they're really just wasting an opportunity. Like I've said before, Chainsaw Man is probably going to turn into one of the biggest anime in the world after this, especially with the big explosion good anime have had on their manga recently, like we've seen in Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen. Next is everybody's favorite grandpa, Kishibe. Man, I just can't wait to see who they pick as the VA for Kishibe. He's just an underrated character. We then had that icon power introduction scene, and god, it looks so good, man. It's just so clean. Like, honestly, going into this, I had, like, astronomically high hopes. And honestly, I just didn't think they would stand up to it. And they literally went past my hopes. And holy crap, the Bat Devil looks so good too, and it doesn't even look like CGI either. Or if it is CGI, it's really unnoticeable and really adds to the shot. And again, in the next scene, the Devil looks amazing. It doesn't look like CGI or anything. It looks absolutely stunning. And then we see the crew running through one of the hallways in the very first arcs. This is actually one of my favorite arcs, and I can't wait to see this animated. A small thing that happens is that Denji actually uses Aki to run faster, which shows off his character 
in this arc. I really like that. And then we have Mommy biting down on Denji's finger, and at least she looks good enough to make me cry. I'm, oh my god. And honestly, this final scene just looks so beautiful. It speaks for itself. I can't believe this is real. Holy crap, man. Okay, with the trailer over, I want to talk about the OST. Honestly, this OST is perfect, and if we can expect this level of quality over the rest of the series, I think this show might have the best OST I've ever seen. And quickly, I want to talk about a few concerns. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know how the animation industry works with trailers, but I know sometimes that they don't look like the anime, especially in MAPPA's previous work, Attack on Titan. In that trailer, it didn't really end up looking like the anime. So I'm praying that this isn't the case for Chainsaw Man as well, but it very well could be. Most of the staff, though, has really good resumes. The only one I'm a little worried for is actually the director. He's only ever directed a few things, like a music video and a JJK episode. But the action director, as well as the other staff, are really, really good. But quickly, I want to talk about what this is going to do for Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is currently, without an anime, one of the best-selling manga in the world, at least for this year. 11 million copies in circulation and 11 volumes. This is better sales than JJK and Demon Slayer had before their adaptation. And this anime looks god tier. Personally, I think this will end up being the greatest anime of all time and skyrocket the manga sales into the stratosphere. Now that the non-spoiler part is over, I want to talk about a few spoiler things. At the very start of the trailer, it shows that Denji's father didn't kill himself with beer bottles and blood at Denji's feet, which makes sense because Denji actually killed his father in self-defense, but you're not supposed to know that until way later. But also, you see a rat here that observed whatever happened, and Makima controls the rats. So it's a really interesting addition to the overall story and how she knew about it. I also want to talk about the Makima scene real quick. I'm a little upset that they chose to choose this scene over anything else, because I thought this part was very, very suspenseful in the manga, and if an anime only watches this trailer and remembers it, I don't think they'll have the same suspense. Personally, I think they should have shown off her scene at the end of episode 1. Editing me here, sorry, uh, I completely forgot to talk about this, but I want to point your attention to the fact that nothing at the start of the trailer where the peaceful music starts playing actually happened in the manga. I'm pretty sure that's meant to represent the world if Makima never ruined their lives. I'm pretty sure that was pretty obvious to most people that actually watched the trailer, but some people might not realize it, and I want to clarify that. Alright, sorry, now back to the video. But besides that, I don't have many thoughts. It's an overall amazing trailer, and personally, I think this is going to end up being a 1010 adaptation for Chainsaw Man. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe.